I talk on no roadblock for the cyber espionage cases. The personal mobility devices market is projected to grow leaps and bounds and the number of smartphone users in the world is 3.5 billion which translates to 45.04% of the world's population owning a smartphone. In total, the number of people that own a smartphone and keep a phone is 4.78 billion, making up to 61.51% of the world's population. The COVID-19 pandemic has redefined contours of business ingenuity to lead us to the era of digital world. The demands placed on digital infrastructure have soared drastically. Higher dependence on digital devices for the remote employees to stay connected to each other and with this the company's data has led to unprecedented exposure. Businesses are relying on digital services to maintain the supply chain for essentials while minimizing social contact. Organizations are turning to chat, phone, email and telemedicine portals for remote counseling, health checkups and diagnosis of employees. Increasing adoption of technology is shaping up an organizational digital transformation journey. At the same time, the threat for cybercrime is increasing, targeting citizens, businesses and governments at a rapidly growing rate. And there is an organized group that is Hack for Hire group who are trying to capture the market by using malware, remote access to trojans and exploit kits. Phishing being among the most popular tools, such phishing techniques are not always sophisticated. But when an organization is specifically targeted, they become more advanced, impersonating colleagues, family, members and more. What you need is a universal solution to detect and block such suspicious activities. Let's see to today's headlines in Bar India. Confrontation among India and China in Eastern Ladakh. 20 Indian soldiers have been martyred. After the clash between Indian and Chinese forces in eastern Ladakh, there are hopes that the differences will be resolved peacefully. 20 Indian army personnel, including a colonel, were killed in the clash with Chinese troops in the Galvan village in eastern Ladakh on Monday night, the biggest military confrontation in over five decades that has significantly escalated the already volatile border standoff in the region. Google to make a major change in Chrome browser. Google is all set to introduce a few major updates with the new version of its Chrome browser that is Chrome version 85. The major breakthrough in this version is to slash off the technical parts of the URL. That indicates the new rolling feature adds luxury and comfort to the user interface. India becomes founding member of Global Partnership for AI. IT Minister Ravi Shankar Prashad tweeted that India has joined the international and multi-stakeholder initiative Global Partnership for Artificial Intelligence on Artificial Intelligence as its founder member. This multi-stakeholder international partnership will promote responsible and human-centric development and use of AI. LNT ropes in former Telecom Secretary Aruna Sundara Rajan. Aruna Sundara Rajan has resumed as an independent director in LNT Infotech, an IT solution and services company, as an independent director for a five-year term. Sundara Rajan, a 1982 batch Kerala cadre IAS officer, served in various central departments and superannuated on July 31st, 2019 as the secretary in the Department of Telecommunications. Massive fall in advanced tax and gross direct tax collection down to 30%. Gross direct tax collection was estimated to be over 30% lower till mid-June on the back of a sharp decline in advanced tax payments, all credit to the severe impact on business due to lockdown due to COVID-19. The report says there is a 76% decline in advanced tax collections, 79% fall on the corporate tax and 64% decrease in personal income tax. 
India's screen time rose by 2 hours daily. The lockdown has boosted the broadband users in India with the daily average screen time of Indians moved up by an additional 2 hours with the work from home, school education and tutorial classes, entertainment and streaming services seeing a massive growth resulting in the telecom companies to get richer. BNP Paribas to exit the wealth management business. There are about 60 people working for the India business and they have been given the option to either relocate to other businesses like its wholly owned brokerage subsidiary Sher Khan to join its offices in Hong Kong or Singapore with the management of BNP Paribas decided to shut down its operation. Flipkart to increase various marketplace fees from July. The move is because of the increased prices of products on the platform for consumers. These have been increased across price buckets, especially doubling in the lower order value brackets of less than rupees 500. The report further says the online commission for products that are in demand after the lockdown would be increased to the tune of 30 to 80 percent from the current rate effective from 1st July. Acer brings business PC at Rs. 9,999. Acer has unveiled an affordable Veriton N series powered by latest Intel dual core or quad core processors paired with 4 GB RAM, expandable up to 8 GB, and a host of connectivity options designed for e learning, small medium businesses, and enterprises to help them in digital transformation. Swiggy launches Jumpstart Package With an aim to reduce the overall investment required from businesses to bring back customers and footfall, Swiggy unveiled a Jumpstart Package for its restaurant partners that are either already operational for delivery orders or those that are restarting business operations under Unlock 1.0 rules. The Jumpstart package will focus on easing key aspects involved in rebooting restaurant and delivery operations. Finally, two-factor authentication is a great protection measure, especially its modern versions like Universal's second factor. But whatever your situation is, you should always stay alert and try to distinguish phishing emails granted it could be hard for a person without special training. COVID update. The number of coronavirus cases in India stands at 3,53,929 with a death toll at 11,921. The active cases are 1,54,882 and the total recovered are 1,87,126. Maharashtra and Delhi reported the major chunk of the count. However, the number of deaths will not tally with other numbers on account of COVID-19 patients who died due to other reasons. Summing up, the combination of AI and investments into cloud computing and related technologies translates to help customers modernize their businesses with digital transformation where the customer will reshape its data organization and data structure to bring it to the next generation of data applications for businesses. The scale of cyber criminal activity represents a considerable challenge to law enforcement agencies and the total cost of cyber crime to society is significant. We all agree that cyber crime affects everyone, governments, corporations, public, but to what extent? While vast sums are spent on security to protect against the evildoers, why is it so difficult to determine the amount of the damage they have done? The reason could be the prosecution is extremely difficult in cases of cybercrime as there is no universal law platform, no law for prosecuting international cybercrimes. What's illegal in the US is not necessarily illegal in India, Singapore or Switzerland. 
In this case, the group has attacked a lot of targets at a variety of levels including individuals, companies, even government officials. It can only resolve when the world will work together on various geopolitical issues, but it seems a tough journey. That's it for the day. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to War India News Magazine. Please download the War India app for the latest news and updates, which is available on Google Play Store. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you very much.